hi guys welcome back to the channel so i just wanted to wish you all a very happy new year um wishing you all the best for 2023 it's weird to say that isn't it so today is new year's day and we've been out with honey we've um gone to the forest we drove to the forest parked up and went on a really nice walk it was um blistery and it was just so nice to dust the cobwebs off and honey likes a proper run um so where we are we sort of take around the block and that she doesn't really go after lead but she likes to go to the forest and she just runs off and lets loose so today the um i thought i'd do a quick video um and show you how i make vegan yorkshire puddings so i've tried many recipes without success and i'd basically just given up on the fact that i'd ever have yorkshires again um and i think when i make a roast it's really nice but it's the only thing missing is the yorkshire puddings so i think it's quite easy to do baking and cookies and cakes and stuff without egg but i think with the yorkshires it's been pretty hard up until now so this recipe is not mine um it's a recipe from uh let me show you victoria howlett so i'll leave the link below i don't know if she's on instagram or um youtube um but this recipe was passed on to me from a lovely lady called Jane and she runs a fully vegan Chinese takeaway and it's just amazing. So I will leave the link to her channel below as well because she does lots of recipes and amazing food and she went vegan and she convinced her husband to turn their already successful takeaway business um, to a fully plant-based menu. Um, yeah and the food's amazing so if you're anywhere near i think they're like Wrexham way um or chester um definitely try them out so waffling on now the recipe is victoria howlett and i'll spin you around and show you what i'm using but i'll just and i'll leave it in the description so you're going to need two cups of oat milk one and a half cups of cold water it makes them rise better um a quarter cup of aquafaba which is chickpea water so when you get your chickpeas it's the water that you normally just pour down the sink then you can use that to make uh, meringues as well I've not tried it but um, so you will also need 2.5 cups of plain flour two heaped teaspoons of baking powder three quarter teaspoon of salt and I'm going to be using this sort of muffin tray so it's quite deep and yeah so i will spin you around i will show you how i make them oh and you're also going to need either the back of a spoon or a rolling pin um and i use the rolling pin and it works great so make sure you've got something like that to hand so i shall spin you around guys right guys so i've put um about a, just over a teaspoon of oil in each of the um you know baking tray Safe. holes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't think what it was then in each section and i'm going to put this in the oven because it needs to be the hottest you can get it so i'm going to pop that in the oven now bear with me we've got this big old bowl here that we're going to use so just referring to my recipe so first of all, we need two cups of oat milk. Oat milk. Um, so, so let's, let's wait, add on. Let's do the flour first. Add on. Where's the flour? Two point five cups of plain flour. I've so just got this one here. So I'm just going to do. What did I say? Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half. So I'm using these little measuring things. So I've got one there. Two. How nice were the Yorkshires the other day, Ollie? Oh, they weren't lovely. Did I say I've got my little assistant here? Oh, yeah. Didn't say, did I? Say hello, Ollie. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie loves cooking, don't you? Yeah. So we've done the flour. Okay. So that's in the bowl. And I'm just referring to my phone. So we need um, two heaped teaspoons of baking powder. So there's our baking powder there. Not sure if this is too bright, what do you reckon? So we need two of these. Sort of heaped. One. Wait, two of them. Two of those. So baking powder helps it to rise. 
as well as the chickpea water and we need some salt so three quarters of a teaspoon of salt so I'll do these tricky bits and then you can do the mixing and you know what I still haven't got myself a um could I put it in yeah let me just fill it up it's not really coming out there is it come on you need to put it in stuck a... yeah well oh well that'll do you pop that in darling okay set and I'm using a fork today because I still haven't got myself a whisk. Right, so we've done that. We've done the salt. We've done the flour. We've done the baking powder. I now saw we a need. Whisk the other day in the shop. Did you? Yeah, it was like um, like a one I that you... think it's like orangey, and it's like it's got like a lime. I'm not sure if it is a whisk, but. All oh, right, we need one of those, don't we? So we need two cups of oat milk. So if I pour it, you pour it in. Okay. Right. One. Is it right to the top? Like, oh, yeah, more or less. That's one. Don't spill it. Oh, I love vegan milk. That's it. That's one. It's just two, wasn't it, of the milk? Yeah, sure. That's it. Looking forward to my dinner today. Are you? Mm, I love roast. Do you want to show what we're having? Okay. Yeah. Don't show the camera that. We've not tried this before. I'm having this, like, Mm, like it's like a no chicken plant based yeah from Aldi isn't from it Aldi. that one yeah should we open it so it looks like inside yeah I'm excited I'll hold this that's it so yeah I've not tried that one so we'll have that I think you know on that picture there mm -hmm. you see the um like the lines of those meats I think not on the edge before. yeah we had them last time we had a roast ah Right, so we've done the milk. So my tray in there is getting nice and hot. And we need one and a half cups of cold water. And it helps them rise better. Yeah, rinse that yeah. out first. I will. What's it? I need one and a half. Um, wait. Yeah, one and a half. So there's one. Put the other half in. Yeah. Is that only halfway up? Yeah, would you say it's halfway? Mm, yeah, probably. Yep. Yeah, let's sit there. That's it. And I'm just making sure we've got everything. So we've got the oat milk, we've got the cold water, the flour, the salt, and the baking powder. And then this is our secret weapon. So this is, is a quarter cup of chickpea water. So you know when you buy the chickpeas, you know when they come in water? Oh, yeah. Yep. So you just drain the water out and you normally chuck it down the sink but actually the water is what's going to make the Yorkshires rise and be really nice. Oh, uh, okay. So do you want to pour that in? Yeah. I was wondering what that was at the start. No. And you can also use that with sugar to whisk it, whisk it, whisk it and it'll make meringues. Do you like meringues? You know the white things that you can have with like cream and Oh, well I thought when we had it at Nantes. Yeah, a bit like you can make like eat a mess. Yeah. So do you want to start mixing? Make sure you mix in the bowl so it doesn't go everywhere. Okay. It's amazing how you can mix with a fork. We don't show the camera what's inside it if you want. Shall I have a look? Should I go like that? Yes, yeah, let me look at it. It's like a like doughy sort of. Mm. Give it a good mix. We don't want any lumps in there. I'll see a couple of lumps and I'll try to get that. There's one loads there. in there. You have to give it a really good mix, darling. I'm trying to do it faster. <laughs> I'm going to hold the. <laughs> So let's say what we're having. We're having that chicken, no chicken no roasting chick joint. Yeah, plant based. Yeah, we're having roast potatoes. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do a bit of mash? Um, yeah. Wait, is there potatoes? Yeah, roast potatoes. Oh, then we're going to do a yeah. bit of mash. And then we are going to do, I've got them on actually. We've got some Brussels. Oh, Brussels. Wait, is there, um, don't think there is. What? No, it's not from this. <laughs> Brussels and carrots. Um, is there stuffing? I don't know if I've got any stuffing, you know. What I done was the other day I made two packets and ended up chucking some of it, which, oh, is, yeah. which is a bit of a waste. But we've got peas. Oh, so I mean, got... at least we get Christmas pudding after. <laughs> Ollie's... <laughs> Ollie's looking at these little Christmas puddings that we got from Aldi. Do you like Christmas pudding? Mm, I've not really tried it once, have I? 
I don't know. I, I'm, I'll, I'm not. I don't really like it. Daddy will have it with you. You can have that with some cream or something. Yeah. And someone doesn't like something, then I'm not too keen on it. No, it's you've got to make up your own mind, haven't you? Mm. Right. Do you want me to give it a good mix? Yeah. Right. Okay. I was going to do it fast, but I didn't think it was good. So, do you want to tell everyone how your Christmas was? Uh, yeah, it was really good. I got cool stuff. You did. What yeah. did you get? What was your favourite present? Probably the keyboard. No, maybe nah. I think that necklace she got me. Oh, I got me a really nice. What was it like? It, it was like it's like an like an anxiety thing. It's like. It's like got a crystal on, mm -hmm. and it can it yeah. helps you, doesn't it? Yeah. So if you've got that on, you know that mummy and daddy are with you and thinking about you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it was a, a crystal on a, it's like shaped into a little pendant on a little string, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. And then the keyboard. And keyboard to go with your Xbox. Yeah, because all you need is like an extended mm -hmm. USB lead thing. So I'm just mixing this. You keep giving it a good mix for me, darling. Okay. I'm going to get all them lumps out. And that's why we need a whisk, don't we? Uh, what was I doing? What was I getting, Ollie? I've completely forgot. Uh, wait, I can't even remember. Oh, I know, I know. I'm just going to, once it's done, pour it into this. It'll be easier to pour it into the... A muffin tray. It really looks like milk in there. Mm -hmm. Look, like you only got tiny lumps mm. in there now. I think if you get rid of them lumps, then obviously it'll thicken the liquid up a bit, won't it? Yeah. Wait, what's this making it of? No, we're going to make Yorkshire's, aren't we? Oh, wait, this is the Yorkshire's thing. Mm hmm. The batter for the Yorkshire's. How nice were the Yorkshire's the other day? Oh, that was really nice. So nice. So we're going to have gravy. I might have some stuffing mm. in the cupboard if I have a good hunt down. So we hope everyone's had a lovely Christmas mm -hmm. and have a lovely New Year. We went for a lovely walk earlier, didn't we? Oh yeah, we went with Honey to Delamere. Yeah, and did she like it? Mm-hmm. We could have um, we could have a series on our channel called Cooking with Ollie, couldn't we? Oh yeah. Would that be? What does everyone think? Would that be a good idea? So once a week or whatever, we could do a recipe. I don't, I don't want to put my face down. You don't have to put your face on. There's nothing wrong my with your face. face. looks horrible. Why does it? I'm ugly. Oh, you're yeah, not yeah, ugly. Don't yeah, be silly. Yeah. You're beautiful. I'm not. So we could, um, yeah, we could do some cooking, couldn't we? Mm-hmm. What's your favourite that Mummy makes? Um, probably, maybe, Some, maybe like stewing dumplings or stir fry, stir fry. Stir fry something. you like. And what have I not made for ages that you absolutely oh, love? What is your favourite? Um, pasta with breadcrumbs. Yeah, cheese, macaroni, like, cheese. isn't it? Yeah, macaroni. With vegan cheese and breadcrumbs, which I do with like, yeah, um... I just put my leg up and now the camera can see my little pyjamas. <laughs> he comes in, he's like me, as soon as he gets in, he puts his pyjamas on. He's got his Christmas ones on, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Got to make the most of it, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So we've got one more day off tomorrow, and then it's back to back to school. And for mummy, back to work. Yes. Sad. Right. Mm -hmm. So just giving that a really good stir. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's no lumps in there anymore, is there? There's a few lumps in there because I think you need a whisk. Which every time I go out, I look down the um, utensils bit and I think, oh, is there anything I need? And I always forget a whisk. So I'm going to pour Ooh. this into here. Can I pour some after you've done with it? Just pour it in there first. Oh, I want to stir it. Oh, I've got loads there, haven't we? Whoa. Wow. Wait, still give it a mix in there I if you want. I thought was going to go over for a second. Still give it a mix in there if you want. Oh, it looks like a whirlwind. So like a you do it then. Right, so we'll be back to you in a moment, guys. Right, guys, so I'm just going to get the um, tray out of the oven. Should be nice and hot now. And that's what you want. Be careful while it's boiling. That looks boiling. And then, mm -hmm. as quick as you can, half fill or just over half the trays. And we want to get these back in the oven as quick as we can. And then. Once they're in, Ollie's going to set a 15 minute timer. 15 minute timer. You've done that, and I'll tell you when to start as soon as they go back in. Look, 15 minute timer. I don't think they can see that because oh, it's too bright. I'm going to get this. Um, don't touch that, it's really hot. 
All right, you ready? Yep. Oh. Tell me when, tell me when, tell me when. It's all going wrong. Right, go. Right, we Does set the 15 minute timer. Don't think they can see that. But. No, it's a bit bright, isn't it? So we've set 15 minutes and I've put them on 220. We're going to get them out and then do the next step. How long, long we got? And we're done. That's it, turn it off then. Okay. So it's been 15 minutes, and when we stick them out of the oven. Woo. And this is what they look like. Don't touch it because it's really hot. Now again, we're going to work quick with this. We're going to use the end of the rolling pin, and one at a time. Splat on it. Yeah, it's a bit sticky, so it's a bit doughy. Never go. No, 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 it's very hot. And then what I'm going to do is not only am I popping it down, but I'm pushing it. Oh, wait. Wait, I'm pushing it up against the sides a little bit just to create that sort of shape. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I see. Now. See? So press that down and then squeeze it against the sides. It doesn't matter if it makes a hole. Okay. And the last one, the more you can squeeze it up the sides, the sort of deeper they look a more Yorkshire pudding -y. and then we're going to turn the oven down to 20 and pop them back in for another five or ten minutes depending how crispy you like them so I just wanted to quickly show you how nice this um, Audi no chicken roast has come out it smells delicious I've just tasted it. it tastes absolutely delicious so there is the dinner just dis dished it up and almost forgot to film. So those are my Yorkshires. Not going to lie, they didn't rise as much as they did Christmas Day. But I thought I'd still finish the video off. Still upload it because, hey, that's life. I've tried one though and they taste absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to pour some gravy over. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Bear with me. So that is my yummy vegan roast complete with Yorkshire puddings. Hope you enjoyed this video guys and leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up and I will see you soon.